Hello, I'm Brett Knowles from the Risk Scorecard Network. This YouTube provides you with an overview of the three core types of risk measures. So the first type of risk measure is often called a KRI or Key Risk Indicator. And typically it takes a look at the activity going on in the organization around risk related areas. So for example, your information technology team might be concerned about people accessing your computer systems and getting privileged information. So we could take a look at the actual number of activities or occurrences where those sorts of intrusions have occurred. So by measuring the number of those we can see if that risk related activity is ongoing. Now to control those risk points we set up barriers around the organization. So, for example, your your computer probably signs off automatically after, say, 20 minutes of inactivity. That's a control, and the control is put in place to try to reduce the likelihood of some cyber breach occurring. If your computer is automatically signed off, if someone comes by your desk, they cannot get access to the systems. So that's a control point. What we need to do is measure the effectiveness of those controls. We call those CEI, Control Effectiveness Indicators. And we're taking a look at whether the right controls are in place, if they're being applied, and if they're being effective. So that's the second type of risk indicator. And that's also predicting where risk might occur. The third type is a non-predictive measure. They typically are what you might think of as performance indicators, or KPIs. These are non-predictive measures about the overall organization's performance. And it's possible that if these measures go out of expected levels, it may indicate a risk is occurring that you might not have initially predicted. So, for example, an increase in the number of complaints or an increase in the number of unreconciled transactions might be indicative of risk-specific activities going on. Once those risk-specific activities have been identified, they'll occur as a risk or risk element in your risk register, and you'll end up building controls around them to ensure that that risk-related activity does not occur anymore. So those are the three types, KRIs, CEIs, and KPIs.